Let's go. Welcome to the 21st episode of The Wolf Among Us, where we last left off. We were just about to sit down and have a nice fireside chat with the crooked man. Let's see how this conversation goes. I'm going to say it's not going to go well for the crooked man, but let's see what happens. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. Okay. Now, I may not be the best shot, but I can guarantee... I won't miss next time. Calm yourself. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. You had to rush him. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. You're dealing with Snow's me. Snow's not here. You're dealing with me now. That may be true. We have, but we have less I Botox now. I've been to find your new boss, at least for the time being. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. It's not and I'm happen. sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some, answers, some answers from you. If you want answers, you're going to have to cooperate with me. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats. Put the here. gun down. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at That's my right. head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. You ordered and it. I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> I already talked to Georgie. I know you ordered their deaths. Mr. Porgy is mistaken, I assure you. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer Put the gun for. down. And I will. Clint. As long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. Those creepy eyes. I don't mean to belabor the point. But just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, what happens? You won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. Those gator skin shoes. You're often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of them. Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. It's about things. Fable Town. This is about protecting Fable Town. Some asshole murders two of our people. It's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. You ordered it. You jerk. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? Look at his nose. My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? <laughs> I understand you have an obligation to bring me in, but you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. Let's go. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Hey! That's right. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. Hit him. <coughs> That's what you get. How's... <laughs> You're under arrest. Let's go. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. He's gonna get thrown in the hole. What if we made the right move? I think, I, I mean, personally, from Wolf's perspective, we'd rather see him suffer than get uh, get an easy way out. I know, I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. There he is. He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. <laughs> He's getting Are his own okay? trial. It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. 
Don't I look okay? Man's place. What? Don't I look okay? I guess you've been worse. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know. I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. All right. We've lost About our love time interest. You showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily! She was my sister! How could you? What do you have to say for Where yourself? Where the fuck do you get this off? You think right. you have the right and to just do this me? to people? You're a fucking crook! This? You should fucking be ashamed. Shithole. <laughs> Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. Let's end it. Put him out of the his crooked misery. man is charged with the murder As of I Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie. I don't mean to interrupt you, gave the you, order. White. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yeah, sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope he not. wasn't behind well, where it. Where is he? Georgie was a victim of this psycho, too. He was pushed into the whole thing, and now he's dead. He's what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That need doesn't for change this. anything. You did we'll it, deal Daniel with Day it Lewis. Later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, but I Miss kill White. You instead. How about I go ahead and kill you right now? In front of all these people? Do I look like I give a shit? After the rest of your <laughs> crimes are read through, then you will have an opportunity to defend yourself, but only With then. Those two chains. If you insist. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, <laughs> inciting riots, including too. the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Got a rap Additionally, the size you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And for being a condescending prick. <laughs> now, is there anything you would like to say? This should be good. <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. So you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell you Stop didn't. the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. Everyone just shut up for a minute. If you wanted a chance to talk, well go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? <laughs> Give him his chance, The I'm crooked interested. man has committed crimes against this government and most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get on but with it then! we promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? This is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No It'd more snap mayor. judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. Why are we uncuffing? This is ridiculous. Who said to uncuff him? You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral <laughs> fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family. Never trust a man a in a turtleneck. to a dying mother. Oh, Are you going to get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful you ordered employees. It. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. Tell this is such a bullshit. You've always been a bit of a powder keg. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? 
Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? I was attacked. Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. You understand Daniel wanting Day to Lewis, protect what you gentlemen. care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man, just to save someone. Better What's he point. talking about? I really hope you're going somewhere with this. I see, you want to cut right to the point. I can appreciate that. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that, hired help. Irresponsible. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free, she wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted, that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? That's right. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful this job. Guy's such a scumbag. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. That's a good point for you them. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? Don't turn this on us. You're the fucking problem here, not us. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had we back in the her. homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did she I do like for you? She looks like a girl from SNL. You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. This guy's such because a Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? They burned my tree to ashes. What? You burned it down? You see? Why would you do that? Just be quiet. Snow, she was helping people glamour themselves as other Fables. We couldn't let that continue. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. Let's you hate take a little Craig, heat here. And you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you oh. being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. What mistakes but have you made? But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Like you did with her? We're trying to protect Maybe you her. haven't noticed, but we've been doing all this to protect you. We're trying to stop people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. He took, he took Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. That's right. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. Well, Bluebeard hasn't said but much. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over, and those girls will have their justice. Convinced everyone, even the woman we burned her tree down. Very good, very good. <laughs> the sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the. Georgie boat. was working for you. Bigby got a confession. A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister. But I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? What about your history? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town! What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... 
I mean, this doesn't feel oh, right. Oh, come we're on. Doing this. You just, just like Of me. course it's right. This man tormented all of you for profit. Georgie that killed them. I'm sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course. Just shut up. You just shut the fuck up already. It's okay. <laughs> Whatever you're getting at, get to it. Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for Tweedledum's murder, since you know Bigby works for her. That's... He killed a man. That don't make him a murderer. Doesn't it? It was just For fuck's sake, killing someone who's trying to kill you is hardly- They were there to retrieve Crane. You didn't need to escalate things. Me? It was them. And who you sent shot those at two us, freaks jerk. anyway? Bigby and I have already discussed his behavior that night. We're handling it internally. Now, where have I heard that before? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He, he was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just You're the one on trial. You're the one on trial here. Don't try to turn this around on us. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right she before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So... You won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for this. We are the law. This is completely different. We I all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to escape his way out of their this. own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This is right. Oh please! This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I the know. The laws apply when we need them. Bluebeard, to. that's not please. true. That's I not true. I mean, a true. certain level of privilege should be afforded to three. To who? This is how it's always been. Yes. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, <laughs> and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? This guy's who winning was the there while they idly played in their towers, judging you? Treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare and challenge the their brutality the when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby! Miss White! Excuse me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath, little What's one? she doing here? Little one? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. What? Go ahead. Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come oh, here. Oh, dear. I don't Just know shut you... up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. Empty and we threats. couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <laughs> but you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. These lips are not I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa. I know Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie. Busted. I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say... You're an asshole. <laughs> Don't worry. He's gonna pay for it. He made Georgie do you it. Are it the was crowd. always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. She almost says Did a unibrow. You know? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. 
So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. <laughs> this is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. What did you this. expect? What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to you kill him. You just want anybody. your tree back. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt it's anyone tough. again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I assure not good you, enough. There will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't blood care. So we get rid of him. It's too dangerous. Him. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable uh -oh, punishment. Uh -oh. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Why no. not? What about a vote? What do you think this is? Everyone, calm down. We should, we should vote. have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? The pest what about buck. him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. It's on us. Are you sure? No. This isn't how it's. It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your <laughs> call. Snow. Just. Do what you think is right. Can we ask him one more question? Yes, Sheriff. Rip his head off. Do what you think is right. Throw Teach him, him a well. fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. Just fucking get rid of him. Not this way. Whoa. I wonder if that always happens. <laughs> There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Rip his head off. Finish it, Sheriff. Please, we can still- End it already. Throw him you know, the well. just between us, I was gonna let you live. But now, you're going to miss me. Dump him. No, I won't. The option, there's an option to rip his head off. <laughs> That's For awesome. Lily and Faith. Yes, another one of us to erase from the books. All right, doom and gloom, get out of here. That fade to black. Well, I, I just, we couldn't, be, if it was just us and him, this choice is blank, this choice is blank. This choice is blank, did we break the game? I think we broke the game. What the heck? I don't think it's supposed to end like this. What the heck? We crash the game? <laughs> Did I miss anything good? What the heck? I don't think that's not how it's supposed to end. I'm a little baffled right now. It's like the end of like uh the Godfather skips. What happens? Alright, I think we're good here. All right, this is where we last left off. That was a tough decision to make. I mean, I can't believe ripping. We, if there weren't other people around, we would. I would have ripped his head off. But because hey, there are other people, are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Who's leaving okay. the farm? Okay. Great. This fucking line. 
make it easy. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. For what? Thanks. Right. Thanks. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. What the heck is going on? We'll talk on? later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. <sighs> You're late. What the heck is going on here? Someone's gonna see you, Colin. What's wrong with him? <laughs> what do, do we do something wrong? Oh, Gowan! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Something. Nice fucking day. Ugh. Shit! Just go try to help, that, would you? Oh. Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. What's up Wait, with that, Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Poor little guy. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Yes, Dad Clem. says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her, she was nice. What is it? So... What is it? I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt <laughs> juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. TJ We're about ready to head out. That. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> You'll don't be worry. safer there. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around. Uh, and a nice river nearby, so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah, you don't have to worry about Just the for you, TJ. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No, I'm, uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable <laughs> around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. See you, TJ. Goodbye, TJ. Keep it real, buddy. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? How should I know? All right. Saying goodbye? Hi. Hi. We like you better than Snow. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... Let's take it off. Let me help. You. Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is <laughs> just something I need to do on my own. Okay? Listen, I... I came here because... I have to tell you something. What's that? What is it? 
It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. What happened? But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who do? had physical evidence? Marissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Crooked Maybe man didn't kill? Try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You sold out your you friends. You sold them out. No. Yes. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> Give her the old touch. <laughs> Shut down again. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. So, I'm trying to think of you. And while the two really of us the were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. You shouldn't have lied. So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... So you would've locked him up. That night, after Faith, I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them... That so piece of fabric. That piece of fabric I found near there. That was you? Yeah. I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. So you... You started it's all your this. Fault, I mermaid. just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade. Isn't like that... we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. That's a haiku. Or Lily. <laughs> Nobody cares about us. That's not, not true. Really. That's not true. We like it you better is. than snow. You've just never seen it before. But now you have. You'll make things right. You and snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other. And look out for us. You don't see that Snow a lot these days. Me. Snow doesn't really need me. I'm sure that's like, not Marissa true. Like better than Snow. <laughs> After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. You tried. And you brought justice to this town, finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. We killed him. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I made a lot of mistakes. I'm making a lot of mistakes lately. But you've also done a lot of good. Don't forget that. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Thanks, Nerissa. 
seen another life, brother. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. A shock to the system. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the little Did mermaid. Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about that? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I don't get why we're going after him. I'll see you around. Wolf. don't understand because I'm not that smart. What did you Georgie do? We were in the minority that said left George to die. Did you give the crooked man a trial? You and 89% of the players brought him back alive. How did you punish him? We were in the minority that said to throw him down the well. We did give him the gift. What were your last words Nerissa? You and 29% of the players said I've made a lot of mistakes. I wonder why that matters. Interesting stuff here. Special stats. You lied to him about seeing beauty. You promised her you wouldn't tell Beast. You forgot you fought him after the interrogation. You offered him protection. You gave him a drink. You helped him avoid the farm. Deceased. You killed him. Killed. Faith. You gave her money after the fight with the woodsman. Deceased. Burned her tree. You drank with Gren after Lily's funeral. You made a deal with him. You tried to take her ribbon during your final conversation. You brought her along with you to the trip tab. You chose to wait for him. You slapped Toad. You stood up for him when Snow wanted to send him to the farm. You gave him money. Now, I don't get that. You know, I'm sure you guys probably understand what happened. Um, I don't. I'm going to have to read that up, but someone tweeted me to uh, stay and look at the things after the credits, so that's exactly what we're going to do, but I will say this, I'm just trying to piece together what happened, so, I don't know, I think it just kind of went right over my head, it's just, she was saying a lot of things, was that first girl, was Faith, I don't remember, like I kind of want to look that up. I just don't understand, like, it was like that, um, Kaiser Soze movie. So he was repeating things that the other girls were saying, that same thing that she said. I don't know, I don't get it. I do not get it, but let's see if there's anything after the credits here. But let's give some final thoughts on the game. Even though I don't get it, it's interesting that we made, you know, we made a decision based off a lie. So I think in hindsight, would have uh, put him in jail. But it brings up the, this game brings up some interesting concepts in, in terms of punishing people. And you know, it's tough because it was really that really the toughest decision at the end was what to do with the crooked man because we didn't really have much on him. We thought he was shady, we assumed he was shady. But all in all, I really enjoyed this game. I know a lot of people gave this game 10 out of 10. And, um, it was just a really enjoyable experience, more so than I thought. Like, The Walking Dead, um, in the end, is I like that better than this, but this is a close second. And I need to go ahead and actually look up what that ending meant. Continue the story. Pick up a graphic novel today. I thought there was something after the cutscene. I totally missed something for sure. Book of Fables. I'm a little disappointed because the game crashed at that very important time. It's alright though. It is what it is. We missed a character here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Something isn't right. It got glitched out. We missed something. I'm going to go back and take a look at it. But all in all, I hope you guys enjoyed The Wolf Among Us. It was a fun playthrough. Um, 
And uh, yeah, The Walking Dead should be coming out soon. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this series, if you enjoyed the video, I encourage you to hit the like button. Helps the video, helps the channel, helps your face. I'll see you next time. Later.